up to another lazy video. We got everyone here once again from the last video. And then uh, we're gonna be doing the subframe install today, so we'll see how that goes. We got Miguel over there, he's just chilling. He had a late night. <laughs> <laughs> we got the subframe over here. We gotta put this on today. We'll see how much progress we get into it, and see what errors we run into, but you know, that's the way to learn. So, we got everything thrown in, and hopefully everything comes out as smooth as possible. First is the gassing cover because uh, it might get in the way of the cell frame, so we might as well put this on first. It's just a couple bolts though, so let's mock it up real quick. I honestly thought it was wet, that's how clean it looks. Oh, because I painted it. Yeah. <laughs> it, looked like shit before. Like, it looked like this before, dude. <clears throat> adjusted and then <laughs> you know what the problem is he hasn't thrown enough money into this car not enough money <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so got the tools we're gonna lock this thing up all right so this thing's held up by six bolts you have two in the back two in the front and then two in the middle they just got the bag right here now we're just gonna go ahead and start putting them on this ain't the yeah. they gave me 14 <laughs> it's like oh I'm using The real question is, is it going to drop down? Ah! Alright, so we've got the gas tank cover on, as you guys can see right there. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, start mocking up the subframe. Hopefully, the bolts line up. Go. Damn. What up? That gym life, he's strong. <laughs> Alright, we got it. These right here are ABS sensors. Uh, I don't think this car ever came equipped with uh, ABS, so we should probably just cut them now. We can take them off. Yeah, we'll take these off. Damn, new trend. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, new ideas? Wow, bro. <laughs> wow. Damn. <laughs> What'd you think, Miguel? <laughs> no, that's too rice for me, dude. <laughs> Damn. So me for speed, dude. <laughs> hey, comments down below. <laughs> rice or nice? <laughs> Here. Alright, so the ABS wires are held on by 14s and then some grommets. Just take those off real quick and it should pop out. Alright, so the AB sensors are off. We're not going to be using them. Uh, now we're going to actually put these on the subframe. So make sure you get these from the donor card because they are really expensive. I paid like 120 bucks for all these. Um, these are the part numbers. So the top, you're going to be using... I don't know which is the top and which is uh, the bottom, but here are the part numbers. Um, you are going to need four for the top and then four for the bottom. So make sure you have these from the donor car or else you're going to go like, you're going to be with like me and go to the dealer and get these brand new and they are super expensive. So just make sure you get them there. Yeah. So these, the little ones are for the top. They just go on like this. And these are what, uh, basically go in between the chassis and the actual subframe itself. So they're on. Now let's just do a quick mock up. Alright. Alright, push it in. Oh, hey, sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, I'm gonna choose. Alright, so it's in on this hole. That's it, fit. What the fuck? What is this? What is this? Underlining? I'm taking this off. Alright, so, right, so oh, it don't work out. <laughs> we got this guy over here holding this stuff up while um, we put this guy on. The subframe is on, it's lining up pretty good. I'm just gotta make sure it's uh this thing's on. Got the nut for it. Make sure you get a Carlos in here. Yeah, Carlos out here bench pressing the subframe. <laughs> <laughs> All 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's on now. Yeah. So the subframe's mocked up. It's lining up actually pretty good, which is a good thing. We just have to make sure that uh, that all the bolts are gonna line up correctly and uh, that they're able to get tightened, basically. Carlos, are you wearing your sister's pants, bro? Nah, I'm just more manlier than you because I can wear pink. Oh, like that. <laughs> Man, Tony just came through again. God damn, you're on the floor. Go up. Damn, bro. Come up slowly. 
You're good, you're good. Damn, bro. You ain't drinking a pink drink too. Dragon fruit. <laughs> Oh, it is? Let it go for you. Uh, Alright, so the front two bolts are spinning. It's uh, spinning. Yeah, so go. the form says you have to weld. Uh, go. You have to weld some type of piece or square piece onto the bolt so it doesn't spin on the chassis. Uh, we're actually trying to uh, use this screwdriver to see if we're able to uh, tie in the subframe bolt from the bottom and the go. front without having to do any type of welding on the car. Go. <laughs> I think we got it. That's it. Yeah, let me go a little bit more. Yeah, nothing's on there, dude. We're good. Yeah. Wait, is this even an AT on the back? Oh, it's a different size bolt. <laughs> One, two. From the, from the... The tire wells in the way. The tire wells. Alright guys, so... <laughs> we finally got the subframe on, on all four sides. It fits perfectly. Uh, it doesn't hit the frame, that's what I was concerned about. Uh, we have no fitment issues. Bolts are tying up from up here. And we actually didn't even have to weld anything, so... I'm pretty hyped that the subframe's on there finally. So, what should be next? Oh. Put the diff on there. Go home. Go home. Go home. Day. All right, guys, that's it for today. Stay tuned for next year. <laughs> All right, let's put the diff on. All right, so we're actually gonna put these guys on first. It's probably gonna, it'll probably be quicker. And then after we're putting that in, we're jumping that in. We could uh, install the different axles. But we are gonna cut off a bit of the dust shield, so we don't run into fitment issues with the. Uh, uh, Cause I am running Evo Nine Brembo, so. You know you want a DSM when you drive, it's starting to look like this. <laughs> and like this. And like that. <laughs> That's not me. Your car tinkled. <laughs> Alright, so we tin snipped them off. We gotta do this guy right here and they should be ready. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming most of you guys know how to put these back together. It's basically the reversal of when we took them out. Uh, just connect the trailer arm, connect the spindle up top, uh, connect the coilover, and then after that we could probably attach the sway bar and then feed the e-brake cables through the chassis into the inside of the car, basically. Uh, you can see right here, they're supposed to feed in through here, we bolt them down to there and then we'll be able to put pretty much the interior back in. Alright, so I went ahead and attached uh, the e-brake lines up here, up to here. On here and have a functioning e-brake again so we got some suspension components on we got the e-brakes all sorted out uh, they finished one side they're working on the other one and now we're gonna focus on what are we doing Lizzie the diff the diff which is over here yeah watch out man Steve's are up <laughs> God damn this thing's fat heavy bro Hey, you don't know how that feels? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the big boy. Dang. Uh, Alright, let's do this. As you guys can see, <laughs> Carlos is right. So Carlos, Carlos is right. right, but there's no way we're gonna fit the diff bolts through here. Like, there's not enough room. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to go ahead and remove the subframe again. Just to be able to put the diff in with the axles. So, if you guys are ever gonna do the swap, make sure you guys put the subframe on with the differential and the axles. Bolts. Yeah. yeah, so that way you don't have to go through what we're going through right now. Oh. Alright, we were actually able to just to uh, loosen the subframe just enough to push it down a bit. We got the bolts in there. Um, we're gonna start putting the diff in. So, we'll probably remove these guys again uh, to push the, the subframe down. And then we'll just jack the diff up there, uh, tie in it, and then once everything's done and done, we'll be we'll be able to basically tie this up again, so that it's snug with the chassis. 
Come, Come on, on strongman. <laughs> you got to leave though. I got it. I just it's freaking weird. Oh, oh shit. Shit. I don't think you threw it in there. Hold up. So you got the diff in there. Oh, uh, the axles are in. Uh, we're just tightening the rear bracket for the differential, and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything back up, and then hopefully move into the suspension components. <laughs> All right, so we got the diff on, the subframe, uh, the e-brake cables, and the suspension components. Uh, so I think we're actually gonna call it a day. We're about to grab on some pizza. Ow. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Listen.